Hey guys, Kurt here with another quick one for you today. The true purpose of the Twin Flame Journey. The Twin Flame Journey is really just the true spiritual journey. So starting today, we are no longer going to call it the Twin Flame Journey. Hmm? For you, you out there watching this video. Starting today, you're no longer going to refer to it as your twin flame journey. It's your spiritual journey. Here's the thing. This is all about your ascension, right? This is all about your spiritual awakening. You're undergoing a spiritual awakening. There's a lot of different ways that people enter into their spiritual awakening. For example, the death of a loved one, right? And it triggers you in some way and you go through this painful experience and it transforms you and you awaken spiritually. As my favorite, or not favorite, but one of my very favorite teachers, Eckhart Tolle said, and I'm paraphrasing, but he, it, it said, he said something like, Pain is necessary until it's not anymore. Suffering is necessary until it's not anymore, right? There's all this suffering to, to shake you out of your coma, to awaken you from your unconscious state. And being in an unconscious state is something most people on this planet are in, right? And for Eckhart Tolle in particular, um, I, I don't, I, I guess I've never bothered to look. You know, you read like the first couple of pages of The Power of Now, and he says basically that he lived a life of anxiety and and everything like this. Um, I don't know if this is what happened with him or not, but it doesn't matter. It, it, it could be anything that triggered his awakening. Let's say it was losing everything. You know, maybe he had like a nice house and a nice lifestyle and plenty of money and a great career and a wife and blah, 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 right? And then one day something happened and he lost everything. For some reason, something happened and he lost everything, his house, his career, his whole life situation, everything went away. His whole life came apart at the seams. Then I don't know if that's what it was necessarily with him, but it could, it could have been. It could have been that for him. It could have been something else for him, but this is a thing for a lot of people who are triggered into a spiritual awakening, something like that happens to them, okay? And that's the catalyst that pushes them onto this spiritual awakening. For you, it just so happens to be that you met your other self. That was what triggered your spiritual awakening, your twin flame. Here's an analogy for you. <clears throat> You're standing on a cliff, and let's face it, life on earth is kind of like standing on a cliff all the time, right? People are always living paycheck to paycheck. You never know uh, a bus could come out of nowhere and hit you and kill you or, you know, I don't know, whatever. We'll just, just go with me here, okay? Uh, for the sake of my analogy, but you're standing on a cliff. Your spiritual ascension is that which wants to teach you how to fly. Here comes a boulder, a rock behind you, and you don't notice it until it's too late and it bumps you in the ankle and you fall off the cliff and you're falling. And in about a minute, you're gonna splatter on the rocks and die unless you can learn how to fly. And miraculously, you do. You learn how to fly and you gently land on the ground. Or maybe you fly up to the next cliff, you know, on the other side of the, of the uh, canyon, right? Now, do you focus on the boulder? Why would you focus on the boulder? No, I can fucking fly. I'm focusing on the fact that I can fly. I don't even have wings. I'm not a bird, I'm a human, right? But I can fly. And I guess the whole object of me falling off the cliff was so that I could learn to fly. Wow. 
Now, falling off the cliff, getting hit by the boulder and falling off the cliff, you know, that's what, I, I guess the boulder is what triggers this pain, like a dark night of the soul, like you're falling towards the canyon floor, about ready to splatter on the canyon floor and die. That's dark night of the soul. And then you learn how to fly and you're saved, no problem. Now, as you're falling or as you're flying, either one, do you focus on the boulder that pushed you, that nudged you, tapped your ankle and pushed you off the cliff? Why would you stay fixated on the, on the boulder? Maybe you could thank the boulder, but then you let it go. And for the rest of your life, it's not about the boulder. It's about the fact that you can fucking fly. That's what's important to you, not the boulder. So if you're on this journey and you're calling it your twin flame journey still, why are you, why are you still focused on the boulder? The boulder isn't what's important. The boulder is just a catalyst to catapult you onto your spiritual awakening. Your twin flame is nothing more than a catalyst. That person is not important. You're not on a twin flame journey. Let me say that again. You are not on a twin flame journey. You're on a spiritual journey. Your twin flame is just the catalyst. It's just, they are just the boulder. That's all. You have to really put this into perspective, guys. Stop looking at this like it's a twin flame journey. It's not. It's a spiritual a journey, a spiritual journey. What I was going to say was spiritual awakening. <laughs> it's a spiritual journey. It's a spiritual awakening. That's what's going on. Other people, like I said, they could, it could be the death of a loved one. It could be losing everything. There's all kinds of different catalysts. There's all kinds of different things that could push you onto an ascension journey, right? A spiritual awakening. Now, if it's losing everything, if it's your life situation coming apart at the seams, do you go, oh, it's my life coming apart at the seams journey. Yeah, it's my, I lost everything and I had to live on a park bench for a year journey. Wow. No, that's silly. So why would you call this your twin flame journey? Do you, do you understand where I'm going with this? This is not a twin flame journey. This is your spiritual journey. This is a spiritual awakening. Your twin flame is just what caused it to happen. It was the catalyzing event. Your twin flame is just a boulder. Now, paradox of the whole thing. If you make this all about your spiritual awakening and that's all you're doing. Yeah, your twin flame will come to be with you. <laughs> but it's just a happy after effect. It's a byproduct of the true spiritual work that you're doing. And that's all it is. It's just the leftover excess. It's not the object of what you're doing. And that's how you get your twin flame to come be with you. And that's the only way that you can do that. You have to be very clear about what your intention is. Now, if you'd like to work with a professional who knows how to help you do this proper work with your energy, right? because we have to get out of the forms of the mind and the energy that's created by the mind. And the fastest way to do that is to work directly with your energy. Please check out my website, twinflameallstar.com. You can sign up today. The introduction to the journey. It's a three and a half, almost four hour long video course. You will know exactly what twin flames are, why this is happening to you and what you can do about it once and for all. It'll be the last time you ever pay a penny to anybody for twin flame coaching. And then, so, so you get the video course, you can get a tarot reading with it. You also get to talk to me for almost an hour and you get to try my workshop for free. You get all this stuff and it's not that much money. Twinflameallstar.com. Check me out guys. Mwah. 
I hope you're having a fabulous week. I'll see you tomorrow.